Hello and welcome back to Gourmet, the Roman kitchen. We're starting off today with some pork in greaseproof paper. Roasting your pork this way will keep all the juices contained and give you a far juicier meat at the end. Season it with salt and pepper and add some oil and then put it in the oven for half an hour at 200 degrees. And now it's time for our ingredients. Today we're making a Picius's pork and apricot minutol, for which you'll need cumin, spring onions, fish sauce, apricots, dill, honey, olive oil, and vinegar. We also need some wine. Any sweet dessert wine should do, it just needs to pass for passum, which was a sweet raisin wine that the Romans fermented. So to start with, you want to chop your spring onion. To do this, you need to remove the tough exteriors and wash under them, and then chop like this before placing into a pan with about 200 milliliters of water, two tablespoons of fish sauce, one tablespoon of olive oil, and 300 milliliters of chicken stock before putting on the hob on a low heat, just long enough to bring the whole thing to a simmer. Now get your pork out. It should be done all the way through, and you can see all those juices in there. Bring it over to your simmering pan and add the pork and all its juice into the pot. You don't need to add the paper to the mix and I would recommend not doing it. This was an accident. Give it a stir and bring it up to the boil before adding your cumin, your pepper, your dill, your honey, our dessert wine, your vinegar, and finally your apricots. And now we need to thicken this up. So you can either leave it to boil off some of the moisture or you can add some corn flour as I did. The Romans used dried pastries called tractor, which they would then grind up to achieve the same effect. Now give it another mix and you'll see how much that thickened it up. Give it a taste. It tastes really good. It's very meaty and really sweet and fruity from the apricots. This is another dish I ate with my family and we thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you for watching this episode and be sure to check out my blog on ingredients we have to substitute when we cook Roman.